Suppose you say something that just isn't regurgitating conventional pieties. Suppose you say something that's the least bit unexpected or controversial. Suppose you say, I mean, the biggest international terror operations that are known are the ones that are run out of Washington. If uh, the Nuremberg laws were applied, then every post-war American president would have been hanged. Education is a system of imposed ignorance. I never heard that before. Uh, if you said that, you better have a reason. It's a conspiracy theory. Better have some evidence. In fact, you better have a lot of evidence because that's pretty startling comment. The very word secrecy is repugnant. Mass media. If you want to understand the way any society works, ours or any other, uh, the first place to look is who is in a position to make the decisions that determine the way the society functions. See, we believe in freedom of speech. Mass media. We believe in freedom of the press. Mass media. You're just being spoon-fed stories in uh, multiple briefings each day. It's very hard to avoid being a stenographer and just sort of parroting out information that the White House is giving you. Mass media. Mass media. Mass media. The major decisions over what happens in the society are in the hands of a relatively concentrated network of major corporations and conglomerates and investment firms and so on. They are also the ones who staff the major executive positions in the government, and they're the ones who run the media, and they're the ones who have to be in a position to make the decisions. Yet we go forward to defend freedom and all that is good. There is a saying about legislation that legislation is like making sausage. Uh, the less you know about how it's done, uh, the better for your appetite. Now in the U.S. government, the people spend maybe 40% of time work, worrying about the policy and 60% of time worrying about how to sell the policy and how to shape the policy and shape public uh, perception. Uh, going to war is a serious business. In a totalitarian society, the uh, dictator just says, we're going to war and everybody marches. We don't want the smoking gun to be a mushroom cloud. But I am asking your help in the tremendous task of informing and alerting the American people. The mainstream press, for the most part, failed to do its job. Mass media, mass media, mass media, mass media, mass media, mass media, mass media. We don't want the smoking gun to be a mushroom cloud. Man will be what he was born to be. Free and independent. 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 We are seeing the war for men's minds not as a battle of truth against lies, but as a lasting alliance pledged in faith with all those millions driving forward to create the true new order. The world order of the people first. The people before all. We intend to accept full responsibility for our errors. And we expect you to point them out when we miss them. Without debate, without criticism, no administration and no country can succeed. And no republic can survive. That is why the Athenian lawmaker Solon decreed it a crime for any citizen to shrink from controversy. It's a conspiracy theory, pure and simple. It's not borne out by the facts. The phrase conspiracy theory is one of those that's constantly brought up. To, and I think its effect simply is to discourage institutional analysis. Well, we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy. There is a tacit conspiracy between the establishment press and the government in Washington to focus on certain things and ignore certain things. Con mucha frecuencia, los gobiernos nos ofrecen su versión de los hechos. Pero siempre esto que nos están presentando es cierto.